What is up, you all? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you stock plugins, the Adobe Audition for using Auto Tune. All right, so we got two tracks. I didn't record anything else, and I'll go through everything that I got. There's a beat I got it on negative two point four, so I'm gonna put it on negative five because this beat is pretty loud. And this is where I recorded at. So this is what we have on the track. We have the pitch correction. This is all by Adobe Audition. Parametric EQ. I just used a high pass filter. Two compressors. Now, I might not even use one of the compressors, but oh well. Then I have the kill, the mic rumble. And then I have a chorus effect. But today's video, we're going to be focusing on this plugin right here. So. I'm gonna just show it to you as a default. So you have presets right here, just a few of them. You have your major scale, minor, chromatic. So in my case, this song is in minor. And then the key is in G. Now the attack is all based on you. So say for instance, you can't sing worth shit. So you would just have it as a fast attack. So say, for, for instance, you want to like a T-Pain sound or like um, Travis Scott, something like that. A very auto-tune sound that like you would know that they're using auto-tune. And you see right here we have this little visual of showing you the corrections of the percentage as it's, as I'm speaking right now, it'll do that. And then you have the sensitivity. I don't really mess with this knob. I just mess on the attack. So sometimes I'll just have it at 8. Or sometimes I'll just be like, oh, I'm going to put it on 6. Because sometimes I can actually sing. But uh, in this case, I'm going to put it on 10. And we're going to play the track. I'm going to mute my microphone real quick. Another plugin we can use. Um, I'm gonna drag it down here, and we're gonna pull this one up, and we're gonna see what it sounds like. This is a free plugin. I'll put it in the description below. And now I'm about to mute the mic. Okay, so the point that I'm trying to make is that it doesn't matter on the plugin, pretty much. You can kind of get some of the same similarities in the sound because I just had a stock plugin. This is a, also a free plugin, and it has some, it has more options than the other one. Instead of just like two things, you can change how smooth it is snap range reference things like that dry and wet so i can just turn it off turn it on also if you want more options and you you do not have any money or whatever i would suggest downloading so keys and g and then minor this is the little scale just um the graphing it'll show when it's correcting i'll show you as i play it hold on i'm about to mute my mic once again
So the point that I'm trying to make is that it doesn't matter if you are struggling on trying to buy the latest idol tune, like uh, Waves tune, or um, what's the other one everybody uses? Antares. I don't know if I'm saying it right. You can also just try to use your free alternatives. That's all I'm trying to show you in this video, that it can be done. I can make a template for you guys if you would like that. I think these vocals were recorded with a Blue Yeti USB microphone. I could be wrong. But I would say if you are just now starting out using AutoTune, use your stock. But if you're trying to get advanced to the most, you know, your bang for your buck, since this is free, the M Auto Pitch is free, you have more options to adjust to. The automatic tuning, the effects, the dry wetness. And then they have presets on here. They have more than one presets. Just a few. But you can also add your own presets. If you guys want videos on that, I can do that as well. Um, so, yeah. I will leave in the comment section below where I got these plugins at, where you guys can download them. And if you guys want a template on the stock Adobe Audition, Auto-Tune, or whatever videos you would like to see next on this channel give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe see you in the next one have a blessed one i'm out